All right, the countdown is on to 2020, and a lot of people will be celebrating with an island tradition, sashimi. Dallas Santaveras is live at the fish auction looking for that prize catch. How's it going out there, Dallas? Hey, Ross, how's it going? Well, you know what? I got to tell you, this is probably the most people I've seen in Hawaii wear jackets and pants, and it's all for the best reason because we're here at the Honolulu Fish Auction, not only to see people buy fish for the day, but to really celebrate and ring in the new year. And here joining us on Wake Up Today, we have Mike Goto, who's the auction manager for the United Fishing Agency. Good morning, Mike. Morning, Dallas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, sir. So, you know, I know the auction is still going on right now. There's a total of nine boats today which means that there's a pretty big heavy catch to yeah. look forward to yep. that's right and you know as we see this auction go on i really want to touch on how this auction is presented you could see this fish right here it's cut at the tail and also at the center of the body why is it you guys want to show samples of the fish before it's bought so you know in an auction system we definitely want to maximize the value of each fish and you know it's this is a raw uh tuna fishery uh so uh Basically, the meat quality is of you know, the highest importance when it comes to valuing that fish. Um, buyers, they, get, they know what their customer wants in, in quality. They, want, they know that uh, you know, a bright red or uh, abundance of fat uh, in, in a tuna loin is uh, going to uh, make a sale for, the, for their client. So um, we, have, we, we do our best here at the auction to uh, display it the best we can um, and make sure that we give a as much of an accurate representation of that fish as possible because they're not going to know what exactly it's going to cut out to until it's sitting in their cutting room in their facilities and they're processing it out exactly and you know as this auction is taking place they're really trying to determine what price is going to be at the pound how high has the price gone per pound uh this year has actually not been Super crazy, super high, or anything like that. Um, I've seen it go to twenty-four dollars a pound before, but we're not we're not really at that stage right now uh, yeah. because of the abundance that's come in. Yeah. As I said earlier, you know we've had uh, hundreds of thousands of pounds come in over the past few days, uh, with more, you know, another uh, over a hundred thousand pounds today. So uh, it's keeping you know the market is strong. Uh, the boats are gonna are, you know gonna make their money, and you know it'll be a great new year for them as well. But it's also going to be a great new year for the consumer because of because of the abundance. You know, it's going to be readily available at uh, everyone's uh, local uh, local retail establishment. There you go, and that's such great news to hear. Like you said, a very heavy catch to end 2019, but also to ring in 2020. So we'll continue to give you more live updates with my Goto from for uh, Wake Up Today, and of course, you can read the latest later on on our website ikhon2.com. Reporting from the Honolulu Fish Auction, Dallas Navarro. Sing back to you, Ross, in the studio. Thank you very much, Dallas. Of course, great news for consumers because the prices will be lower. All right, coming up next, Chris will have a live look at the bros, and Kelly's got your.